Hey friends, it's Matt. I wanted to give a quick update uh, just to thank you uh, first off for an amazing week of raising over $13,000. We had no idea uh, we'd be able to raise 10% of our goal. wanted to share that we got a prayer shawl this week from First Presbyterian Church in Jacksonville and a friend that brought it over and it's raining now. Uh, how that reminded us each stitch of this crocheted shawl that Heather received represented love and intention and in a similar way this GoFundMe each gift whether it be five dollars fifteen dollars five hundred dollars uh, from friends that many of which we haven't seen in years and people we've never met have given so generously and each gift represents intentionality and care and love and it's just been amazing we've been working hard this week sharing the GoFundMe but also applying for financial aid uh, with the hospital and with our surgeon they, want, they needed to know like how much we pay on our mortgage, what do our groceries cost, uh, how much money do we have in our savings account, all kinds of stuff. Uh, hopefully we'll bring the cost of the surgery down. And uh, we were also advocating with our insurance company. We do have health insurance. Uh, this surgeon is out of network. The surgeon that is in network couldn't see Heather for six months, and, and frankly, um, it, you know, we just can't wait that long. And so uh, there's actually not even a code that the insurance can use to bill or that the surgeon can use to bill um, insurance companies for this excision surgery, which is an injustice for women. 11% uh, of women have endometriosis, and Heather's is very advanced. She tried for years to tell her, her gynecologist that she thought she had it, and she was dismissed. And then in this last visit with the gynecologist, he was told that she shouldn't have let it go this long. So it's crazy. It's It's been frustrating, but... Um, we're, we're working through this, and she's getting tests, uh, an MRI scheduled for a couple of weeks from now, and, and hopefully we'll get the surgery in November, December. Uh, hopefully not much longer because Heather's been in a lot of pain this week. She's, it's, it's getting harder to function. Um, she's been really exhausted and in a lot of a lot of pain. So, we just wanted to thank you so much for from the bottom of our hearts for your generosity, your love, your support uh, for me and my family, and for Heather. And we'll continue to share updates. Uh, but God bless you all. And um, we love you and thank you so much for your love and support.